In today's tutorial, we're learning three ways to animate your logo into PowerPoint for beautiful opening or closing slides. Let's start with the first one, which is zooming in on a full fill logo. And for that, we're going to use the Apple logo as an example, because it has a nice full graphic fill. We're starting from Unsplash to look for some nice images. Let's type in Yosemite National Park. We're going to look for landscape images. And of course, we want the free images to use here so you can filter them out. Now let's look for a nice image that we want to use. And I kind of like this one at first glance. Same with this one. Let's try the pink one instead. So we download it. Just large or medium will be fine. And jump back into PowerPoint. Here we're going to drag it into PowerPoint and then change it to full screen. Now next we want to add our logo as an SVG format. So SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, which means that the logo is scalable without any loss. So if you use a PNG or a JPEG, it will pixelate, but an SVG format, you can increase it in size as you want and it won't lose quality. So I'm going to use this Apple logo for this example and we're going to make it white and place it somewhere in the middle of the slide. This looks quite good, maybe a little bit bigger. Now, as the next step, we want to duplicate this slide and you're going to hold control key and scroll backwards to zoom out. You can also use this slider here to zoom out entirely and then hold control shift and increase the size of the logo so it covers the entire slide. Now we're going to add the text and it can be a slogan, it can be anything. In our case, think different from Apple. We're going to center it in the middle, change the font. Let's try it. I'm here next. Let's make it very light. So ultra light, increase the size to about 36. And now we're going to arrange a line, a line to center and a line to the middle. And this way it is centered in the middle of the slide. You can see it here as well, because with that big logo, it's kind of hard to see where the slide is. You can always drag it to the side if you want and then control Z to shift back. I'm going to make this one bit larger. There you go, font size 40. And now let's add the morph transition to the slide. Transitions, morph, and now let's play what we have. So this is quite a nice opening slide for your brand. We're using Apple right now. You can use any other logo, of course. And as soon as you click, it will increase the logo, go to full screen, and then you have the nice transition to your following slide. Now an extra bonus, to this first example is that you can also reverse the order. So we're going to duplicate the slide by using Ctrl D and we're going to insert the opening slide. So the one only with the logo after the large expanded logo. And if we now add the morph transition to this as well, let's preview in full slide. So this could be our opening slide. And as soon as you then click to the next slide, it reduces the logo and goes to a nice ending slide. So depending on how you want to use it, this could also be done. Now, this brings us to the second chapter, which is going to be the reverse or more or less the negative side of the logo. So for that, we're jumping back into PowerPoint and we're going to duplicate this first page here. Next, we're going to add a shape and a rectangle to the entire slide and cover the entire page. We're going to remove the outlines and make it white. Let's make it orange or a different color so we make it clear. Send backwards so that it is in between the picture and the logo. Now we're going to select the SVG format and we have to do one thing to change this. So we're going to graphics format, convert to shape. And this has now converted the Apple logo into two separate shapes. So we can ungroup if we want. And this kind of takes the logo apart. Select both elements. So you have to do this for all the loose elements. You can select them all at once like this. Shape format, merge and union so it acts as one shape. So now we can't take this apart anymore. We're going to place this slightly higher because we're going to use a subtitle underneath. So we're going to position it just a bit optically to the top, so not, exact, so not entirely centered. Now we're going to select the background shape first, hold shift and select the logo, merge shapes and subtract. And this takes out the Apple logo. So you can see that the Apple cutout has been made. Now we change the color to white again. And let's add the thing different slogan underneath. And there we go. And now we're going to duplicate the slide. The text, we can remove it so it will fade out. We're going to scroll backwards again. You can use this toggle here. 
hold control shift and increase the size of the cutout shape until it's expanded over the entire slide. So you can see the entire slide in between now and there's no nothing covering it. Now we're going to add transition, morph, and now let's see what we have. So this is a second type of opening slide that you could use, thing different, and as soon as you click, it will expand and go to the full screen. So it's like the negative of the first chapter that we've done. And also this one, of course, works in a reverse. So if we copy duplicate this initial slide and we paste that at the end, add a morph, then we can see what that gives. So we have a full screen picture here. And as soon as you click, the logo kind of appears in the slide and also the slogan comes underneath. So it's a nice little trick that you could use for your logos. And this brings us to the third part, which is going to be zooming into the logos with an outline shape or a lot more negative or text-based elements. And also for that, we have a trick. So I'm going to create a new slide and jump back into Unsplash to find a nice picture. Let's look for a nice car. And in our case, it's going to be a Mercedes because the logo is this not entirely filled logo, but it has a lot of negative space in the logo. So let's see what we can do with that one. So let's look for a nice picture here, one that we like. There's a lot of choice, so you can refine, you can pick whichever one that you like. I'm looking for a black and white logo. This one, this one will look quite nice, I think. Let's download it and jump back into PowerPoint. Let's drag it on the screen and we're going to make sure it fills the entire screen. Next, we're going to add the logo on here, also in SVG format, that is kind of important. And let's make it white. Let's reduce it just a little bit so it fits in the center of the slide. And here you can see that the logo, it doesn't really match with the slide because the slide, it's the picture is kind of in the center and then the logo on top of it, it doesn't really balance out. What we can do for that is we can right click format picture and we're going to make this picture blurry. So we're going to reduce the sharpness. And by doing this, we can instantly see that the logo kind of pops to the front and it stands out a lot more. So now we're going to duplicate the slide and now we want to increase the logo size. So hold control and scroll backwards, increase the logo. We could go for an entire full fill, but I think in this case, let's say we reduce it and we try to position the slide in the negative space of that logo. So here in the Mercedes logo, we have these three parts where we could fit our, our picture in. And this also works if you have a logo with, for example, text, you could always find some negative space in the logo in between the letters. So let's do this. And then of course, we want to change the picture so that it becomes clear. So we're going to right click format picture, change it to the sharpening and then put it to zero again, not hundred. It's going to be too much, but zero, that is a standard formatting. And let's already duplicate that initial slide. So we have both ways here as well. And then apply the morph transition to the slides transition morph and let's preview what we have so also for this logo we can see we've added two things we've added the blurriness of the picture and as soon as we click we zoom into the logo and the car reveals in a sharp high quality visual which is kind of nice or you could reverse it and that means if you click again you could go from the picture and close with the logo so depending if you want to start your presentation or end your presentation you could do it in whichever way that you want so today we have seen three ways to animate your svg logos in powerpoint and the first one was starting with the logo in the center and as soon as you click it fills the entire screen and gives you room for some content or a slogan but also which also works in reverse. So you could reverse the entire thing and end with the logo at the end of your presentation, for example. Secondly, we have seen the negative cutout of an SVG logo. And as soon as you click, you zoom into the logo and reveal a picture behind it. Again, this also works in a reverse. So if you go from a full size picture, you can reduce it to the actual logo and tagline. And the third example is a different type of logo where you have negative spaces in the logo, which you can use to zoom into the logo, could be text, could be anything else, and then revealing the picture. We've added a little bit of an extra where we zoom into the picture or we zoom the logo and the picture blurs in the background to give that little extra depth of your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.